Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome again to Midday Matter. This is Triumph Teaser. We thank God for you being with us on today for 10 minutes in the Word of God. Amen. We've been working through the letters of Paul, and we're going to continue the book of Colossians, chapter number 3. That will be coming right up. Amen. God bless you today. We thank God for you. Our information is at the bottom of your screen. I'm Pastor Christopher Harrison. And we thank God for you being with us on today. Our social media outlets are in the lower corner. Amen. We love to have you connect. Share this with somebody. Share this on your timelines. Like, comment, subscribe. Amen. We've been doing this long enough. I think everybody knows the drill. Amen. Help us out. Help us out. Be an e-missionary on today and bless somebody with the word of the Lord. Amen. We look at Colossians chapter number three on today. Amen. Paul talking to the to the church of Colossae, I guess. And uh, uh, now he gets into more pastoral things that you will start to see and be a thing between the next few books that we deal with. And that's some of the inter interworkings between man and some of the uh, fruit of the spirit, works of the flesh. You start to see him dial down to be more of a pastor and shepherd. Uh, moving away from that church plant oversight role and start to dive down into conduct and behavior for all saints. So he says, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual morality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these you too once walked when you were living in them. But now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing songs and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, submit to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Bond servants, obey in everything those who are your earthly masters, not by way of I service as people pleasers, but with sincerity of heart, fearing the Lord. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward, you are serving the Lord Christ. For the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. Amen. Uh, thank God for the reading of his word. And so, like I said, Paul is dealing a lot more. He's telling them. Uh, how to deal with each other, how to deal with life. You deal into, uh, when we get into Ephesians, you look at um, the work, fruit of the Spirit, the works of the flesh. We get into uh, Colossians and, and how Paul itemized these things. But he tells him first to seek God, look up for the things, mind things that are above, not on things that are below. Uh, we can get caught up in fleshly things, worldly things, even our own selfishness, and not really be focused on the things of God. We can cry, Lord, 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 and be caught up in a lot of emotionalism. But God is somebody you can talk to to get clarity. And so uh, we should focus on God 
and not on the things of the world, even the fleshly desires, the things that we have died to. Um, and so we have to understand that we have to put to death those things. And he itemizes uh, sexual immorality. The world is driven by uh, sexual exploration more so now than it's ever been. And so we have to be careful that we don't fall into that. If you're married, stay married. Enjoy. The Bible says enjoy the woman of the youth, the woman you walk, walk down the aisle with. Uh, everybody's looking outside the marriage because they're not pleased inside, but that's not how Christians do. Find your joy in the woman of the youth. Don't get caught up in sexual immorality. Husbands and wives go through things. Don't look for an answer outside of the marriage. And uh, people are doing that and they think they're sneaking and doing it and, and people don't know. But people know. They're waiting for honesty and things. Impurity. Uh, dealing with evil and, and, and um things that are against uh, the holiness of God and things that are against uh, cleanliness, passion caught up in all your emotionalism emotions driving you because you feel that way you think you can do that way and that leads to evil desire lusting after things that are against God and covetousness, wanting what somebody else has, covetousness is idolatry, idolatry because God is the supplier of all of our needs and so because of all these things God is coming, God's wrath is coming and so if you uh, uh, were formerly of that mindset it's time for you to put them all away now we deal with anger and wrath coming out of pandemic all of us and things got to be careful when we're caught up in anger and wrath and, and malice and slander and obscene talk uh, we have to be be mindful of what comes from our tongue uh, don't lie. A lot of people hate liars, amen, but all of these are grouped together to do things that, uh, you know, you can point out a liar, but, but what if we point out what you're doing? But he says, don't lie to one another. Put off the old self. Put on the new self. Create it out the image of God, the Father. Because all of us, Greek, Greek Jew, circumcised, all of us, slave, free, barbarian, all of us are in Christ, one and all. And so he tells us, fruit of the Spirit, or kind of the good things for us to have, is to be compassionate, kind, be in humility and meek and patience, yielding to one another, and bearing with one another. Uh, if you have a complaint, forgive. God forgave you, you forgive somebody else. And put on love. Love is going to bring everything together. We like to deal with things with wrath, but God tells us if, you're gonna, if you have a trouble with somebody, go over with love. Put more love on them and see how that works out. I mean, let's see how it works out. God promise, excuse me. But um, but we have to deal with the love and the peace of Christ that rules in us. Let the word dwell in us richly. Let songs, you know, the sad thing in Roanoke, we don't we don't have a, a good radio station in the valley. But we got Apple Music, we got uh, Spotify and everything else. Let music and songs and spiritual songs be a part of your life if you ain't got that FM or AM radio station that's good enough for you to hear. I pray God the Lord bless us with one. Somebody want to donate some money, I'll start with that. But no, we got to have make sure that we sing songs and hymns and spiritual songs. They are a vital part of uh, our life, the, the, the songs and the singing. And one of the scriptures, like I said before, 317, whatever you do, word or deed, I had it on my keychain for the longest time. Do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give it thanks to God the Father through him. And so he switched to family. We've talked about this back in uh, September, maybe. Why submit to your husbands as it's fitting to the Lord? Husbands love your wives. Marriages are falling apart. Folk can't deal with each other because people are not doing their part in the marriage and in and some folk don't care. But love your wives. Don't be harsh with them. Uh, children, obey your parents in the Lord. Uh, and fathers, don't cause your children to uh, be discouraged by you provoking them, demeaning them, harsh words against them. But lift them up, support them. Bond servants, workers, employers, employees. A lot of times folks focus on the word slaves, but it really means employees, employees, people who have mutually agreed to uh, work for labor. But here he says, bond service. Obey your earthly masters. Not just to do it in their face, but everything out of sincerity 
and fear of the Lord. Work hard. Do it for the Lord, not for men. They may not be right, but keep working. Because it's from the Lord that you get your reward. And so the wrongdoer is going to be paid back for the wrong. What you sow, you're going to reap. And all these things. And it's just in the worker, but all these things. You are reaping what you're reaping because you're sowing something. If, if things ain't right, you're sowing some things that's causing them not to be right. If people always got a problem with you, you got to watch your mouth. you too busy. You think you're standing up for right, but you're putting people down. And so that's why people treat you in such a way. You ain't invited to the cookout. you got to be careful. Because uh, the wrongdoer will be paid for the wrong that he has done. If you're not giving love, love won't return. If you're not yielded, you're going to receive those things. If you're you're not going to receive good in life if you're not putting out good things. What you sow, you're going to reap in basic terms. Amen. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. Pray for us. We'll pray for you. And we'll watch God change things. You can join us. We are in person at 420 South Pollard Street, Sundays at 1030 a.m. We'd love to have you join and be a part of the growing ministry in the Roanoke Valley. We are here. We've been here. And we're coming out of the pandemic looking to grow. And we ask you to be a part of the salvation of God and the work of God in the land of the living. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you is my prayer. In Jesus' name.